Here's problem number 24, 1. There are four there. Two charges, 15 picocoulombs and minus 4, 40 picocoulombs, are inside a cube with sides that are 0.4 meters length. Determine the net electric flux through the surface of the cube. Let's try to imagine what we got here. We've got a cube. And inside, we've got two charges. One's a positive charge. That's called Q1, which is equal to 15 picocoulombs. And then we also have a negative charge somewhere. That's called that Q2. And that is equal to a minus 40 picocoulombs. Now let's imagine what's happening with flux lines here. For this positive charge, we have flux lines exiting away from this charge and these lines are going out of this cube so the flux is proportional to that charge and for the negative charge we got flux lines coming in to it radially in all directions and so these flux lines are coming into the cube proportional to that charge so this is the way things look we want we know that the uh, total flux is proportional to the number of lines that we would eventually draw to represent this, but we don't know what that number is. So we could kind of use Gauss's law to try to figure out flux. We know that in Gauss's law, basically, flux equals flux. And on the left-hand side of Gauss's law, we would say that the electric field dotted with the area vector everywhere on this surface is flux, and that is equal to the charge enclosed by that surface over epsilon naught. Basically though we're saying that this flux should equal this flux. Now if we try to evaluate the flux with the left hand side of Gauss's law we're going to run into a major problem because these E fields that are coming in these directions are all coming at different angles to these flat surfaces and we have no idea what these different angles are to all these flux lines. So this might take a supercomputer to try to calculate this flux this way. But if we look at the right hand side, charge enclosed divided by epsilon naught, well that's pretty easy. So we can get our total flux from the right hand side. We'll say that our flux, let's call it flux 2, is the total charge enclosed divided by epsilon naught. Well that's going to be Q1 plus Q2 divided by epsilon naught. And so we'll have um, 15 picocoulombs, 15 times 10 to the minus 12, plus minus 40 picocoulombs, minus 40 times 10 to the minus 12, over epsilon naught, which we know to be 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12. Well, multiply top and bottom of this of this fraction by 10 to the 12, so we get 10 to the minus 12 is canceled out. And so this is going to be equal to 15 minus 40 over 8.85. And so that is going to equal a negative 25 divided by 8.85, a negative 2.82 and the units of flux would be uh, newton meter squared per coulomb. So that's a negative 2.82 newton meter squared per coulomb. That is our net flux through the surface of this cube. The negative means that we have more flux going into the cube than we have going out. And that's just one way to figure out the net flux through this surface. <laughs>